But when you have your goal on Jannah and you have your goal on Akhirah, that desire doesn't change. That hur will always be more beautiful than you can ever think of. That's not going to change. That's never going to You know, there was a guy who was with his wife and she said, you know what? Uh, honey, if you die, I'm going to go and uh, I'm never going to remarry. I'm going to go and live with my sister and I'm going to spend my entire life over there. She said, but you're a guy. I know how you guys are. He said, hey, what do you mean? He's like, you know, when, when I die, you're going to get married again. He's like, no. She's like, yeah, you are. He's like, look, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm never going to get married again. I'm just going to move in with your sister. <laughs> right? People always, they're, they're a desire. You say, no, no, that's it. I'm not going to want anything more. No, something else pops up. Oh, he looks more beautiful. The wife never looks beautiful. Her sister always looks better. The girl never looks nice. Her friends look nicer now. This is a re real talk. Real talk. Real talk. We can hide this. We can hide the facts. But let me hit it real to you. We are fixated on things that will change, that will decrease. Jalaluddin Rumi, a phenomenal mystic, who wrote the Mathnawi. Uh, I, I, had the, I, had, I had the opportunity of flipping through some of the pages. I was in Istanbul a couple of months ago. I really wanted to visit Kanya uh, and see uh, the, the area where Jalaluddin Rumi uh, grew up, but never had the opportunity. Inshallah, next time. He writes in his Matnawi, a hypothetical story. So don't think of it like, you know, it's something that uh, actually took place. It's a hypothetical story. And they do these things to drive a point across. He said there was this guy, right? Mashallah, he, the, he ran this like scholarly place where people got there and they got better, you know? Like a spiritual retreat. So this brother comes there to get good. And then, you know, he had brothers and girls there as well. So there was this sister, you know? Her responsibility, you know, she had no other parents, no one else. Her job was to serve the food. So this brother comes, mashallah, to get his, spirit, his heart spiritually cleansed. But when he sees that sister, his heart gets spiritually attached to that sister. And every single time she's bringing the food and he's like, Tazakallah, sister. And she's also there to get better. So she's like, Astaghfirullah. You know, she akhi zoned him. You know what akhi zoned is? It's one step past friend zoned. If you're a friend zoned, 10 years later, you can still, there's still a chance. If she calls you akhi, bro, done. It's not happening. Get the hint. So she's like, no, 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 you know, it's, it's. He says, okay, whatever. You know, a couple of days went by, he keeps on checking her out. You know, oh, can I get one more right, one more spoon right, please? Mishti? I learned like five words of uh, Bengali when I was there. And I used to use Urdu throughout the whole thing. But, um, so she gets upset. You know, she goes and tells the teacher, she says, you know what, Sheikh, you need to expel this kid. This guy didn't come to get spiritually better. He's hitting on me. And he's like, all right, you know what, we're going to solve the situation. So what are you going to do? And he's like, I got this magical pill. He wrote the story, man, not me. He says, you're going to take this pill. This is going to make you constantly use the bathroom. You're going to have diarrhea constantly. Okay? He's like, and anything you eat won't be able to stay in your stomach. She says, okay. What happens when a person has, is constantly having diarrhea? They get what? They get weak. They get sick. Their face starts sinking in. So now this girl, she's, whatever she's eating, she's, it's not staying in. And her, her hair is getting wispy. And her skin is deteriorating. And, she's, and he says, whenever you, like I said, I didn't write the story. The guy did. He said, whenever you use the bathroom, obviously it's back in the day, they didn't have flushes. He's like, keep it in one area. So she said, okay, that's what she would do. After a couple of weeks, this guy starts seeing the same girl who looked like Miss Kanya. And all of a sudden, she's looking like she got slapped in the face with Kanya. Right? Not Kanya West. Kanya is a place's name. Just in case somebody's like, who's Kanye? So this guy now, he obviously starts seeing, when that beauty starts seeing these materialistic things. Materialistic things. He starts seeing these things start diminishing. He stops looking at her. You know? Would you like more right No. Another plate? No, I'm good. You just leave it over there. She goes back, she's like, Sheikh, now he's not even looking at me anymore. You know girls, they want attention. Sometimes, you know, sometimes girls need that attention. You know? But, hey, wait, wait, why is he looking at me? Why, why isn't he looking at me? You know, it's both times dilemma. She goes back to the sheikh, she says, Sheikh, you know, now he's not even looking at me, what's going on? He says, I want you to take that 
pail and bring it. So she brought it. And the Sheikh tells the kid, he says, you see this girl? The girl never changed. This girl, she never changed. But when this feces and this excrement was inside her, you loved her. When it exited her, you stopped loving her. In reality, you were in love with this.